I'm Logan Don, and this is my one year on testosterone video. I came out as transgender January 16th, 2019, at least publicly on that date. Um, I came out to my friends and family a little bit before that. I'm going to quickly read my little Facebook post so you can skip if you would like. Please read this if you consider me a good friend, family member, coworker, even acquaintance. There's been something I've been struggling with for a long time, ever since I was little even. But the past three or four years have been especially hard for me. Growing more uncomfortable in my body every day, being depressed and angry and not knowing why, some days have been easier than others, but the past year has been really hard on me. I've never felt this insecure, this out of place, and just wrong, I guess. My family knows, and some close friends, but now it's time for you to know. This is the first time I am saying this publicly, but I need to stop being somebody else for the fear of judgment. I remember coming out as gay, and I was so scared. And then I realized, if someone wants to be an asshole or judge me for j me just being myself, they don't need to be in my life. Well, this is me coming out a second time. I am not a lesbian, I am transgender. For those who don't know what that is, I am transitioning my gender from female to male. I will be starting testosterone as soon as I can. Tomorrow, I am going to a clinic in Orlando to get some info. My mom and dad and grandma have all accepted me, said it is what it is, and not to be anything but myself, so that's what I'm doing. I know this is going to be really confusing to some, so if you have any questions, feel free to message me. But if you have anything negative to say, I'm sorry, but just remove me. Not just from Facebook, but from your life. I'm done living for other people, and I, the people I need most in this world already know and accept me. So I have all my need. My amazing girlfriend, now fiance, Michaela, and my best friend Asher have been such an amazing support system for me the past few months. And without them, I probably would be too scared to be myself. But thanks to them and the amazing support from my family, I'm no longer scared to be myself. And by the end of 2019, I plan to be a self-made man. Very kind of like, kind of cringy, kind of cute, kind of gay. Kind of don't know what I'm doing with my hands. <laughs> it was very nice to come out finally and just finally be able to be myself. And this is the best I've felt, honestly, like ever almost like you know what i mean like the most like comfortable i felt to be myself and the most happy i've been to be me um the most proud i have been to be me and just confident in the way I, like i look and feel and everything and i've never experienced that before since being one year on testosterone as of technically yesterday but i wanted to film the video today because i've been anxious and putting it off um it's just been a wild year <laughs> a lot of changes a lot of ups a lot of downs a lot of drama to be honest but all in all i am so fucking happy that i chose to do this for myself um this i'm gonna do like a quick little explanation of what being trans is um you in the womb you can develop obviously in my case, um, a male brain and female genitals. So when I started getting older and going through puberty, since I didn't have the right parts for my male brain, I started producing estrogen and that produced um, obviously my chest to grow, um, my, or what's it called? the thing to happen every month you know what i'm talking about the like thing and it was just not fun my brain was like oh my god what the fuck was this i was not happy i remember just being so upset i was like absolutely not like what what i have to wear a bra now like why like gross like i just want to run around with my t-shirt and my little uh, oh my god <laughs> My skorts at the time, remember shorts that had like the fucking skirt over it, so there was little skorts. That or my little shorts that went to my knees, because Lord, I didn't, okay. I've never worn booty shorts, just saying. Wow, I'm getting off track again.
So once I started going through puberty is when I started to really notice. Um, to be trans, you have to have this thing called gender dysphoria. Um, it is a disconnect between your mind and body, and that's what triggered me to have depression and stress and anxiety, and I wasn't even entirely sure why. I was just very uncomfortable with myself and my body, and my brain was craving, craving testosterone, and I was getting estrogen instead. So it was just very, my brain felt weird. Like I felt like confused all the time. And growing up, I always wished I was born a boy. I didn't know why. I, um, I was always very jealous of guys. I wanted to be in the Boy Scouts, not the Girl Scouts. In like pictures when me and my sister are little, she's always posing like some cute little like girly way. And I'm always just like, <laughs> like just posing like, well, a little boy would do just something random, like not trying to be cute, just trying to be funny. And like not saying that that's like a gender stereotype thing, but you know what I mean? But childhood was just very like, I don't know. I just didn't feel very girly. I thought I was a tomboy. I got called Doug's little boy growing up and I didn't pay very much attention obviously to it. But I just remember like thinking every once in a while, like I wish I was born a boy. Like that just sounds more like me. Like, uh, I think something was wrong, but oh well, I, I can't change it. So like, this is what I have to be. And so I didn't really learn what being trans was until I was in high school when I went my old friend, I'm not gonna say who, um, because we don't necessarily get along anymore, but they taught me about like what being trans was. Um, I had met them when I was little, when I first moved to Florida as um, a girl, so when I met them in um, high school, they were then not like um, medically transitioned, but like socially transitioning as a male and going by a male name and male pronouns. And I thought that was just like interesting. I started doing my own research online and I learned more about it and it kind of clicked something in my head, but I, I thought like, oh my God, maybe I'm trans. And then I was just thinking like, no, 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 I'm not. Because um, it's very rare to be transgender. Um, like the statistic, statistics of people being trans is like, I don't know what the percentage is, but it's pretty low. I thought like I was just a lesbian. So it was very confusing for a long time. And it was a lot of like just denying it to myself. Um, I was almost like scared, I guess. I, I know I was scared. Um, I was scared of what it would be like to transition. I would be scared of what if it wasn't the right thing? Um, what would my family think? What would my girlfriend think? Cause I eventually, um, I was questioning for a couple of years and I started dating my now fiance, Michaela. And so I was very scared because she was obviously a lesbian. So I was scared, like, if I transitioned, would she still love me? But when I came out, it was a very, very good experience. I am very blessed with that um, whole thing, with that whole experience. That was just, like, <laughs> really no complaints. I've written down a couple of questions that people had. Um... Experience with like how I started my transition, like started um, testosterone and all of that. I went to Two Spirits in Orlando. I think they're called 26 Health now. Um, I had to speak with, I think it's a therapist or a psychiatrist. I can't, I'm very bad with terms. I had to talk to them at least twice and get a letter of approval that I was diagnosed with gender dysphoria. Um, to be able to start testosterone. Um, I had to pay for the letter and the appointments and everything. Once my letter got approved, I went to my appointment where I thought they were gonna do blood work to get me started on testosterone. And my doctor goes, okay, yep, we'll set up your appointment to get labs, but we're gonna get you started today. And I was like, wait, <laughs> today? And she was like, yeah. And I started crying. I hugged my doctor. 
I was freaking out. My um, fiance has pictures of it. And I was so, so happy. Um, but it did take a minute to get approved, but it was actually very fast considering I came out the 16th of January and then I started testosterone the 27th of February. So a little over a month I had to wait, but that is not bad. Um, first shot. So my old friend did my first shot. Um, it was kind of scary, but I was mostly excited. We threw a little, I called it a tea day instead of a B day. And I made a little cake. We decorated it with a little like blue icing and stuff and put happy tea day on it and candles and stuff. And my, he was my best friend at the time. Um, he gave me my first shot. So it was back then very special to me. And it was just a very good day, I would say, all around. I had my best friend, Asher, there as well. Hello, Asher, I love you. Um, I miss you very much. And um, my fiance was there, of course. And then my old friends, but I only miss one of them, sorry. <laughs> and how long till I notice changes? I would say my voice within the first like week or so started feeling weird like not like like it was getting deeper but like it was just starting to like like i felt like i was getting sick but like without the symptoms being sick you know what i mean like just like when your voice does the thing like the thing <laughs> um and then there's also I have family members on here, so this part's kind of awkward to talk about. But, so there's this thing called bottom growth. Uh, obviously, females have this body part down there that males don't have. There's a certain part of that body part that grows and essentially looks like a little penis now. Fun fact. Uh, I'm sorry to any family members I have on here. <laughs> Um, and then I started noticing my leg hair, it was growing in, you can see now, I, not too bad, it's mostly, oh my god, underneath my thighs is awful, but I'm slowly getting more, um, I mostly have my little patches on my knees, but they're significantly more hairy, I would say, and I have more tattoos, thanks to my lovely fiance. His name is Marilyn Monroe. And then the voice changes started slowly happening. I would say a month in is when I, no, maybe three weeks to a month is when I started really noticing like, hey, I'm like slightly lower. Emotional changes. That was right away. Um, within the first day, my anxiety and my depression dropped significantly. I'm assuming it's because my brain finally got the um, hormone it needed. Because again, I do believe like, the only reason I started like transitioning and I believe in all of this anyways, is because it's scientifically proven. There are studies, um, there are doctors that have done studies and stuff like that. And like have proven like this is a thing. Like gender dysphoria is a thing and hormone replacement therapy is what I'm doing for like using um, testosterone instead of um, estrogen. It is to alleviate gender dysphoria. And so it really did alleviate, it uh, helped my um, anxiety and depression almost immediately. And I felt like just more comfortable, not more comfortable with my body yet because this hadn't started changing much. Like I just got my first shot, but definitely in my mind, I felt better. Like I felt, like not as like cloudy or anything like things started like working better like my brain started like working better i do get angrier um around my shot times like after my shot i get very irritable and annoyed and angry um usually the rest of the day and the next day and since i've started testosterone my anger has just gotten worse in general 
Um, it's not something I'm proud of at all. It's something that I hate very much. Um, but I'm slowly trying to learn how to control that and I'm getting better and better. The best coping mechanism I have right now is to just be quiet when I'm angry because I don't want to say anything that I don't mean or like hurt anyone's feelings or anything. Um, but it was very bad in the beginning. I lashed out a lot. I was kind of mean to, um, at times, my fiance, my mom, um, my sister a good couple of times. I do feel really bad for her, but she has bipolar disorder, so whenever she would have her manic episodes, I would kind of just lose my shit, essentially, too. Overall, besides the anger part, I feel so much better emotionally in my head and like more stable and everything and just I feel like I don't have that like thought in the back of my head anymore like there's something wrong like I feel like like I want to like cover myself in a blanket and like go away voice updates so the voice updates I was gonna do every month but as you can tell I procrastinate a lot and I ended up skipping a lot of months, but I feel like a lot of times they sound the same anyways. So like skipping a couple months, you really sound the differences anyways. I'll try to like insert some clips here if I can. My name is Logan Don Shaw and this is my voice one day on testosterone, technically five minutes. My name is Logan Don Shaw and this is my voice one month on testosterone. My name is Logan Don Shaw, and this is my voice, two months on testosterone. My name is Logan Don Shaw, and this is my voice, four months on testosterone. No, where are you going? Love me. Oh, God. My name is Logan Don Shaw, and this is my voice, six months on testosterone. My name is Logan Don, and this is my voice, ten months on testosterone. Wow, this is awkward because I'm in a Culver's like drive through but my name is Logan Don and this is my voice one year on testosterone. I'm back. But mental and physical changes, even though I kind of just went over that. I'm, I have a little list. Um, mental, it was more just, I felt more comfortable, like I was saying earlier. Um, physical changes. Once I started getting the physical changes, I definitely started becoming more happy mentally. Um, like once I started like passing in public, getting called sir in public, um, like at restaurants or in like stores, like stuff like that. If people like friends um, hadn't met me before and they were just meeting me, they assumed like I was just a guy off the bat. That was very nice. Um, that's when I really started becoming very comfortable and confident, I would say, in my body. How I feel about the changes, I am happy with all changes I've had, except I have very bad acne now. I can't remember specifically what it's called. I'm probably, I might butcher it, but it's like nodular or nocular acne. It's like the, I guess, most severe type or something. Um, I have it all over my cheeks on both sides, you can see. It's very bad. Um, a lot of these are cysts, sadly. And it's, um, I got in um, steroid injections into some of them the other day at the dermatologist, so they're getting smaller. Like, I have one on my forehead as well, but that's getting smaller. But slowly but surely, my acne's getting better. I'm getting approved to start isotrotin or something like that. I, I probably butchered that too, but I'll be able to start that soon. And then that should hopefully take care of the rest of this. Future surgeries and my opinions on surgeries. I do want to get double incision and top surgery. I'm in the process of trying to save up for that. I think I found a surgeon I want, um, Dr. King in Wisconsin. Um, I looked up just different ones on my phone. Um, it's around like $11,000 though because my insurance doesn't cover it, so that's fun. I hope, um, I'm currently, I, I just went to an interview for FedEx today, so I really hope they hire me so that I might get some sur- or not surgery, I might get some, um, insurance from them that possibly might cover gender-affirming surgeries. 
but after that I don't believe I want um, bottom surgery which means I'm not gonna get like a, um, a penis I do not have any wish to do that um, obviously I wish I was born with one I wish I could conceive children on my own and all of that but that's just not a thing that's gonna happen and I do not want to deal with any complications or pain or uh, the cost of that so I'm just not gonna do bottom surgery altogether but I'll probably get like a hysterectomy um and all that fun stuff so I don't have to worry about getting like cancer or any um anything wrong with that since I am not getting estrogen anymore I don't want to mess up my reproductive system so it's best just to get that out sort of thing because otherwise you can get this thing called atrophy and that's just Google it, it's not fun. <laughs> Biggest struggle since transitioning has been my acne and my anger, I would say. Um, mostly because controlling my anger is very hard and the person I'm around the most is my fiance. So unfortunately she gets the worst hand of it most of the time, but I'm trying very hard to get over that and we are working together for the most part at least. We're both very bullheaded, but we are working on our anger issues together and um, we're getting through it and we're just very supportive and we love each other very much. We've been living together since the day we started dating and I wouldn't have rather had it any other way. She's my biggest support system and I love her very much. Um, and my acne, of course. I went to the dermatologist two days ago. Maybe yesterday, I can't remember. My days are all confused. So I'm really hoping that clears up soon. How it affected my relationship. Um, since transitioning, my relationship has been 10 times fucking better. Me and Michaela are more comfortable with each other because I'm more comfortable with myself. I'm more open with her because I am more comfortable with myself. Um, I was just very closed off before. I was never, like, I didn't want to really do anything. I want to stay inside. I was very uncomfortable. I didn't want to, like, be, like, intimate or anything because it made me very uncomfortable. Like, I would cry and everything because, like, I just didn't like, like, my, my body and me. Um, so since transitioning, it's been amazing. Like, we've been able to, like, just focus on, like, loving each other and not me trying to love myself so that I can love her too because I finally love myself so like you can't fill up somebody's glass with an empty cup I don't know if that's the saying it's something along those lines or something but I feel like now I am strong enough to love her and my full potential because I finally love myself enough to give love back hopefully at the same rate if that makes sense. How I felt then versus now, if that's not self-explanatory from this whole video, I feel amazing amazing, amazingly times better than I did a year ago. Um, a year ago, I was very stressed. I was very unhappy with myself. I was very unhappy with my looks. I was unhappy with the place that I was at. Um, I was friends with even people that weren't f true friends now that it's been a year later and I've learned that. I've lost friends and I've gained amazing ones back and it's just been not only a journey of like transitioning and becoming my true self on the inside and the outside, but also just changing my life and like just giving me a new and better life that I've always wanted and I never knew how to get but now I just feel like I have everything that I need I have the friends that I need and the support system that I need I'm where I need to be I was born in Iowa I moved to Florida when I was five and I always wanted to move back I finally got to move back here in January of this year 2020 with my amazing fiance and our fur babies, Felix and Miss Kitty. Felix is a cat, Miss Kitty's a dog, and then our snake, Salem. So I feel really, really, really amazing from where I was a year ago today.
And then my favorite trans people and my inspirations. I watch a lot, a lot, a lot of YouTube. Um, I watched a lot of like um, just advice videos in the beginning and like different people's like transition videos. Um, I would say one of the people that like first comes to mind, his name's Jimmy Dodger. Um, he's in the UK. He makes amazing trans videos. I suggest ch checking them out if you're interested in that sort of thing. Um, I didn't watch too many of Chase Ross's videos, but he has very, um, trans informational videos that were helpful. Um, I watched, although some Blair White videos, because they were, some of them were funny and interesting, and she's a trans woman that has different opinions than most people in the trans community, I would say, but a lot of them I do agree with and I do like, and it was just nice having like older trans people to um, look up to and kind of see their journey and see how I can go about mine. But this is kind of the end of my video because I don't really know what else to say, but this has been the best decision of my life and I am very thankful to those that have stuck around with me. Um, and I'm just very, very blessed and happy to have the family and support I've had so I can transition and I can have the life that I've had. So, uh, yes, this is goodbye and I will see you in my next, like, voice update in, like, six months from now or whenever I get a beard or a mustache or something.